<laughs> you see all the banners and the balloons there. They're certainly going to lap this one up and enjoy themselves. It's a big day for Danny Wilson, isn't it? He's been in the headlines. Ronnie Dial has mentioned him as a possible target. Well, he just has to continue showing, you know, what a good player he is, how good he is in the ball, you know, especially coming to a big arena. Can he go and defend and lead his team forward? Peter, how do you see this going for Rangers today? Um, I'm, I'm quite positive that I think Rangers can get a good result today. Uh, they can't, might go, go and win it because now the Hearts have actually won it. Um, they might might not be up for as much as Rangers sh should be. So um, I'm favouring Rangers a little bit. OK, we shall see. Time to hand over to your match commentators, Gary McAllister and Derek Ray. Thank you, Daryl. Good afternoon, everyone. They say a week is a long time in politics. How about 11 weeks in football? Back in January, amid wild winter weather and mass protests by Rangers fans against the old board, these two sides got in 24 minutes of skating practice before time was called. Hearts' lead already substantial then, standing at 13 points, grew to the stage where they simply could not be caught. It is now a yawning 26-point chasm, and at the insistence of the new Rangers manager, Stuart McCall, a guard of honour will be formed as the Ibrox club recognise the achievement of the best team in this division. A lot still at stake for Rangers as they try to, first of all, force their way into the playoffs. They want to be second when all is said and done. Danny Wilson, the heart skipper, preparing to lead his team out. There is the guard of honour. Part of Midlothian, the name given to the old Edinburgh prison that used to house the city's gallows. But now hearts are truly a club unchained. A shining new dawn has arrived for the Jambers. Everyone has been impressed with the manner of Hearts' revitalisation and a swift return to the top flight of Scottish football is assured. <laughs> Rangers have recalled Harris Vucic after two goals as a substitute in the 4-1 win over Cowden Beef. There's also a place for the man who captained Hearts in their 2012 Scottish Cup final win over Hibs, Marius Janiukas, back from international duty with Lithuania. Bilal Mosny and David Templeton, another former Jambo, are the two to drop to the bench. Hearts have full-back Kevin McCarthy fit again, and he replaces Adam Eckersley, who might well have played his last game for the club. Sam Nicholson is preferred to Billy King on the flank. Gennaro Zeyfout is 25 today. Gary, the tactics board. Well, Rangers is most definitely 4-4-2. The midfield four will take the shape of a diamond. Nicky Law given the job to go and support Clark and Miller. Hearts, on the other hand, they're 4-4-2, but slightly different shape across the middle. Gomez and Payard will sit and hold, allowing Nicholson and Walker to get in the wide areas. The officials are the same four who were on duty in the aborted game, headed up by referee Bobby Madden. Glorious spring sunshine in Govan. Will the Rangers to kick off. Well, they started on this Easter Sunday, and this time we assume they will finish. Arts with the title in the bag, trying to make it three successive wins against the Ibrox men for the first time in nearly three decades. Rangers have work to do as they try to secure second place at the table and a potential playoff advantage come the middle of May. That's by Kenny Miller, trying to wait it so that Lee Wallace could run onto the ball. Turning up was Annie Oosturk for Hearts. the star man for Rangers in the recent victory at Easter Road over Hibs. They really have gone off the boil. Three defeats in a row. Now Stuart McCall has already lifted the gloom that was enveloping Rangers. He possesses a fine managerial record against Hart. Seven wins, three draws, just two defeats. Thank you all. Shields, just trying to keep the ball moving. Down 
and McGregor. A little bobble on the way through. He was being watched by Osman Sur. Yeah, and it's Osman Sur who's just dropped into that left-hand side. Zifu Cup on his own. And this is interesting here, Derek. The Hearts leaving three up. And that just... You know, what the Rangers do it there? They're asking the question. They're looking to the side. They're going to go 3v3. Just on the edge of a technical area. There's Vucic. Something Rangers have been working on. Nicky Law. Spanking effort. Leo Alexander holds on to it. No, oh, that was a brave decision by Stuart McCall, allowing Nicky Law to come away from that defensive duty, leaving Rangers, you know, three versus two at the back. That was a brave decision. It's a great effort from Law. Super technique. This is a player that Stuart McCall wants to get more involved. Stuart knows him really well. And that's what he wants to see him do. Get efforts at goal. Score goals. Zafak, the birthday boy, celebrating his 25th birthday. The Dutchman on loan from Groningen. His shape is just slightly different than what we thought it would be at the top of the show. Well, so many plaudits have come the way of Robbie Nielsen, rightly so. The age of 34, well, that's head coach. This season in charge, only Falkirk, remember, have beaten the Jambos in the championship this season. Looking for it, we just trying to win that midfield battle. It's not Callum Patterson. But right back, and you think back to the aborted game. It's used as a striker by Robbie Nielsen in that match. Lee Wallace with the throw. And against his old club. Nicky Clark. He's really come on to a game. Three goals in his last three matches. Law, change of direction. So Nicholson was trying to stay with him every step of the way. Andy Murdoch into reverse gear to Lee McCulloch. Adam McGregor, Lee McCulloch once more for the home side. Almost four minutes gone. There's a real big game atmosphere inside Ibrox. Basking under the sunshine. Pitch is excellent, a lot of water being thrown on prior to the game kicking off. The surface is perfect. Kevin McCarthy, you'll remember, the victim of that shocking Kenny Miller challenge in the November meeting of these two. Suffered knee damage, Adam Eckersley taking his place, but Eckersley is not going to be offered a new deal. Indications are that that might be that as far as Eckersley goes, he might play for Hearts oh, again. Looks, no, looks as if his Hearts career is over. Going for youth. Obviously disappointed to hear that news. Take it by McGregor. Dean Shields. His form has been a bit perplexing going back for a number of months, but a settled run in the side, and Stuart McCall has faith in him. Law. Danny Wilson trying to take charge. Sticky Clark from the back. Danny Wilson, very comfortable in coming from the back with the ball. Sticky Clark just comes in from the side there. Yeah, that's a free kick. Danny Uzturk for the flair for the dramatic. Two about scoring from miles out. Danny Wilson, too long and too strong for Jamie Walker. And it's Jamie Walker who's actually positioned themselves closest to, to Zeefuk. And, and so is more on the left side there. It's a little change. I think it's the one thing, Gary, we've seen from Hearts throughout the season. Tactical tweaking of the team. Robbie Nielsen can do that. Really is at the same formation one game to the next. There's always something a bit different. Yeah, players have got to be able to adapt and they've got to be able to 
change from, from different shapes and formations instantly. It's something we see a lot when you go up into the higher echelons of Champions League and stuff. It's something that wasn't happening enough with regard to Rangers, although Stuart McCall has put his stamp on the proceedings. The tactical front. Lee Wallace and reaching out was Alien Öztürk. Nothing there, apparently. As Wallace tries to go on the outside, oh, there's a little bit of a handoff, but not enough contact for a free kick. Ian Alexander, former Rangers goalkeeper, the Hearts were his boyhood team. He's carried off in the Dybrox in August. So as a result of a collision with Alim Öztürk. to take it. It's a milestone appearance for Lee Wallace, his 150th Rangers appearance. And it's Vucic. from Newcastle. Also going to be Rangers player. Just property next term. We shall see. I have been impressed with this play from Slovenia. Positioned out there on the right. Wallace trying to get it to dip towards Nicky Clark. Butchkic in the vicinity. Just take it away from him. Followed by Osman So. Osman So did very well. In an unfamiliar position there, covering back. You can see Butchkic was just trying desperately to try and get it onto his left foot. Gone out of play, so a chance for Darren McGregor to wind himself up for the long throw. Distance from McGregor. And just forced to play it back to Jean Lucas. Wallace. Shields Just trying to flick it forwards quickly. Clark, not quite. Makassi. Zafak had the arms outstretched. Ball was nowhere near him. Well, Zafak needs the ball to be played in and around him. I don't think he's one who's going to chase up channels. Burley finisher. Gennaro Zafak. Goals in 11 matches, can't really argue with that. Kenny Miller, Nicky Clark, just looking over his shoulder, trying to judge the flight of the pass. And it's again just Kenny Miller dropping way in deep, getting turned, trying to spot the movement of Nicky Clark. And Shields was trying to winkle possession away from Miguel Payado, one of the sitting players in midfield for Hearts. Morgana Gomez is the other, nearly got caught. Eagerness of Clark there for Rangers. That's typical Clark. Effervescent, chasing lost causes, putting defenders under pressure. It's good work. Here's Nicky Clark's 50th league appearance for the Ibrox club. McCassie. Rangers really getting stuck in. Understandable that they are up for this. Points are so precious. Oh, slipping and sliding. So look at the action area so far, Gary. Their hearts have been struggling to get out of their, their own half. It's been all Rangers. Points from Wallace. Lorna. Just wave and wave up of attack, one after another. Kitch, measured pass intended for Miller that time. His hearts haven't yet got going, and that's an added pass by Gomez. Nicky Clark offside. Kenny Miller. Kenny Miller just wanted this a little bit earlier. Gomez puts his hand up. Not a good area to give the ball away so cheaply. Clark pounces on it. 
Miller just wanted it a touch earlier. He's just half a yard off. It's the striking partnership again for Stuart McCall today. Kenny Miller and Nicky Clark. Stuart McCall, the interim boss in place until the end of the season. And then Rangers make a decision beyond that, what they want to do. Just got to keep winning games. Unbeaten so far. It's fascinating when you look at the battle for second, third, and fourth. With the playoffs in mind. Rangers, of course, go to Palmerston after this to face Queen of the South. That's on Thursday. They're trying to get men forward. Look at the run by Oswald So He tries to keep his balance. And Andy Murdoch, crucially for Rangers, stuck to his task. Osmond Shaw he had just it's an opportunity to come more central. He opens up his legs, he's away from Zalukas. Gregor does well. He's desperate in the end. Little indication where this man's about. First Hart's corner then. Jamie Walker in position to take it. Nicholson close to him, wasn't too happy about the positioning of Kenny Miller. Nicholson, excellent ball to Walker, Jamie Walker. And blocked immediately. It's a nice bit of skill in the corner there. This one's off the training ground, just exchanged a couple of passes, a little nutmeg in between there. And this is a proper challenge. Skipper McCulloch. something Hearts have been working on at Rickerton in the past few days. Osman So has made his way over to the touchline. Something going to be taped up there. Danny Wilson. Another player loses his footing, this time Jamie Walker. Butchkic. Only member of the so-called Toon Five to have made an impact with Rangers. Wall. McCulloch. Butchkic showing for it. Darren McGregor. Kante, who solves the problem for Hearts. Gregor just trying to force himself down that right side. Again, it takes Osmond Soul away back the pitch. Gregor looking into that. Son. We'll go Hearts' way. See the Hearts supporters in the background there. In the corner of Ibrox. Here for another party. Against Queen of the South in the home game, the title already secured. More bottles to be uncorked. A few of them are going to get suntans today. It's bigger than a magnum there. Let's <laughs> get quickly taken. Shields. Now Wallace, it's provided by Law. It's technically usually set up so well to thwart the opposition. Players like Nicholson get into their stride. It'll be very hard to prevent goals when you're playing against the Jambos. Patterson, blocked by Law. And it goes to all the way back to Alexander. Yeah, it was good pressing from Rangers. It's a cheap giveaway by Dean Shields originally. Then Rangers went hunting to get the ball back. Rangers level on points with Hibernian. Of games in hand would be so significant. Just a reminder that the 
teams finishing third and fourth play each other. Initial stage of the playoffs. Winners of that go on to meet the team. Send it up second. That's where Rangers want to be. It's a long drawn process, but it is very exciting. The sides in the lower reaches of the Premiership really hitting form as well. Mix of Ross County and Motherwell. So, absolutely no guarantees for whomever finishes second in the championship. And there's still third or fourth. so much to play for. Yeah, I agree. Nicky Lodge is coming into this wide left area. Dean Shields has been a little bit more central. McGregor. So, was trying to get tightly onto him. And McGregor using the captain, Lee McCulloch. Again on 300 Rangers appearances, just three short of that mark now. Sam Nicholson, Gennaro Zafak. It's unlikely that he'll return. Hearts next season, it's just a loan deal. So we'll turn on that front. Lee Wallace topples over. Bobby Madden says free kick to Rangers. Again, Rangers forcing the issue. and just querying that one with George Salmon, the fourth official. Nicky Law feeds it in. That's an effective backflip by Nicky Clark. And the up is a corner to Rangers. Yeah, has been so taking no chances. It's a tricky little ball in towards that near post area. Nicky Clark, the clever little back heel, doesn't just quite fall in the path of Lee Wallace. Of Harris Vuckic. Nice kick by Patterson. And Öztürk was meteor. When we saw the, the names So and Zifuk on the starting line, they thought they'd play with two up front, but they haven't. You know, they played four and five across the middle, allowing Rangers a lot of possession. To the right. This time it's a goal kick. Nine successive Hearts victories. Going on from the lone defeat in the championship against Falkirk. And Hearts were magnanimous enough that day to say that Falkirk deserved it. And it has been an extraordinary campaign for the men in Maroon. They want to keep it going. No easing off if Robbie Nielsen has his way. Walker. Oh, was trying to get tightly onto him. Jamie Walker! A whisker away in the end. This is the strength of Walker coming in on his favour right side. You've seen him score from that distance in the past. Cammy Bell was, was comfortable, he had it covered. Scare for Rangers. Jamie Walker who has netted 11 times in this campaign. All league goals. Makassi. Listen to the move of her mind to mess around. They're trying to release it. It's fallen for Nicky Law. Wallace. He was motoring. It's come on Nicholson. Corner to Rangers. And it's exactly the areas they want to have these players in possession. Nicky Law high up the pitch, and then the Rampage and Wallace joining in. Go, 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 go. Go. Well, it's been positive from Rangers in the opening 20 minutes. He tries to make his move. It could have gone anywhere. Back with Alexander. Alexander looking to field it nice and early. Rangers again, leaving it 2v2 at the back. Andy Murdoch 
recently agreed to a new Rangers contract tying him to the club until 2017. He's really enjoyed working under Stuart McCall. He said that he's not old enough to have seen Stuart McCall the player. His dad assures him he was <laughs> pretty competent. We could back up his dad. <laughs> McCulloch. Uh, Vujkic. Johnny Ukas. Offered to play for Rangers against Camden Beat last week. Just 24 hours on from his appearance for Lithuania against England. Well, you might hear applause in the background in the 22nd minute. And that's from both sets of supporters the applause for sean cole who sadly lost his life at the age of 22 a scottish soldier died in miami and he did attend school in tynecastle he's the cousin of darren cole the former rangers player and Jamie Walker was a very close friend of Sean Cole. You see, wearing the black armband in memory of his friend. Nice touch by everyone. Wow, wonderful tribute. Both sets of fans. with the pass to Vujkic. Now here's Shields. McGregor on the move. And McGregor overcooked it. Darren McGregor has been on the front foot. And the opportunity is hard to go and get high up the pitch. He's taken it. Fajardo, the Spaniard. Of Alexander. Now Callum Patterson. He's the number 21s. He defeated Hungary 2 1. The celebrations had to be cut short. McCulloch. get three successive wins at Ibrox. Never managed that in their history. Just short of 25 minutes. And here we have planned just to set off the game, allow Rangers possession and look to counter. Next off Kenny Miller. Andy Murdoch. Chase back for Lee Wallace. Shields, Nicholson, to what Dean Shields of the ball. Yes, Lucas, all the way back it goes to Cammy Bell. This 35 games because of a shoulder injury. This is fourth successive start. Just delighted to have him back in the team. It's the 200th appearance of his career. Which gets fend off McCatty. <laughs> to Wallace. Nicky Law. It was off balance but released the ball efficiently enough. Vuckic. Mustook and Patterson going for the same ball. In the Hearts defenders closing Vucic very quickly as soon as he comes in on that favoured left foot, snapping in at the tackle. Very much aware that he's a left footer playing on that right side. Stuart McCall just indicating, let one go, let one fly. And he is Turk, pings it forward in the general direction of Jamie Walker. Lucas. Vigorously. The 
to men in charge, Stuart McCall and Robbie Nielsen, side by side, a few yards away from each other, trying to get their respective messages across. Done well by pressing high, forcing hearts into errors like that. Darren McGregor, it's Danny Wilson. It's named by the Celtic manager Ronnie Tyler this week as a player he rates. Danny Wilson, who seems to be on the books of Rangers. Still before they move to Liverpool. After the good work there. We're just going through a bit of a lull. Still the call unbeaten as Rangers manager. There's four games in charge prior to this lunchtime. Mikasi is the left back of the future as far as hearts are concerned. Obviously the senior player, but for the new deal. Now, the went down. Bobby Madden waves to play on. Advantage with Rangers. Law for Wallace. decision to let the play flow and it's Miller who bursts through 1-0 yeah, and two players getting in the areas where the most effective law getting high up the pitch and the rampage in Wallace he loves joining in and this is a quality ball across the six yard box and that's a good finish by the experienced Miller he just feeds in just helps it on its way good finish by Kenny Miller Super play from the Rangers left back, Wallace. He hasn't scored all that many this season, Kenny Miller, but he picks his spots. Netting in the big matches, he was on target at Easter Road recently. And he's breached the Hearts defence today. Kenny Miller for Rangers. And it could be a massive goal. The story of who finishes second in the Scottish Championship. Let's see if Hearts can respond. The Rangers supporters are jubilant. Well, they've had so little to shout about in terms of Action on the pitch in these last few months. Is it now clicking into gear? And just that combination on the left hand side and Law oh, wants to get up the park, get close to the 18 yard box so he can make his passes. It was nice the weighted ball into the path of Wallace. Good ball across and a good finish. Safe out has been kept pretty quiet. That's one hit by Murdoch be a hearts ball and that means Kevin McCarthy will take the throw in. Walker. Oh. Ball by McCarthy. McCulloch away. Safe back. McCulloch one more time for good measure. By Payado. from the back for Harper Midlothian. Cassie on the ground, Gomez on the ground. Hopped up by Kenny Miller. Wilson trying to price up in the Rangers rear guard. McCulloch for Clark to chase. And there's Neil Alexander. Bodies back quickly enough. Just thinking back to the Rangers' goal. That happens in a few seconds. Bobby Madden deciding to play advantage. So the back of the 
Sadek, but it's not going to go. And Walker has sort of gone. Safe out involved this time. It's pretty blatant. Good hearts, Kunja. Ali Ustur, can we know what he's capable of? We've seen him score from further than this opportunity. Well, it was a ridiculous goal in the Edinburgh Derby at Easter Road, wasn't it? In the dying embers. A bit more. It's going to be Alin Öztürk. Strikes it with authority. Penny Bell electing to punch it clear, and it comes to Sam Nicholson. And Nicholson just wide. A couple of good efforts. The first one from Öztürk. It's a straight run up, there's loads of depth. Camibel taking no chances. Falls to Nicholson, he tries to go for the fast bend. Camibel had it covered as well, that one. Just going the other way, it was going away from goal. It's a couple of close shaves from the Hearts' point of view. Walker and Nicholson. Efforts from some distance out. Rangers with the lead, Kenny Miller has given it to them. Zayfak took the tumble here as Osman So, stretching those long legs of his. Oh, and Kenny Bell, it's not what he had in mind at all, and Walker, and he tried to punish him. Kenny Bell up to the task, finally. Well, it's a poor clearance from Kenny Bell. Falls to the right man, Walker. And recovers well, Kenny Bell. Wilson, Osman So, two of the targets in the air. Osturks to make his move to the penalty spot. Walker with the delivery, convincing punch by Bell. Osturk tries to keep it alive here for the Jambos. Gomis. Manny Wilson. He's put into it by Marius Kaniukas. Well, Lucas had to win that one, there was a spare man over. Callum Patterson was coming in the outside, it's a vital header. Danny Wilson. Gato Gomis. It's under Craig Levine. Dundee United, Craig Levine now the director of football at Hearts. There's Turk. He's not afraid of shooting from there. Insufficient punches that time off the boat of Anin Öztürk. Yeah, when he strides forward, he's capable. Again, he just try to create that dipping, powerful shot. He's had one or two things to contemplate since the Kenny Miller goal. He's trying to bite back. He's had ball. Now got to the shape that they thought they would start with. You know, Sos come in off the left and playing up alongside Zifuk. Controlled by Gennaro Zafak. Now Payado to the belly of the Rangers defence. Now has it. Here's McCulloch. Scored first in the championship this season. They never lost. 14 wins, four draws. Diana just walks away. Andy Murdoch. Four start on the spin for Murdoch. 
So he can drink to Neil Alexander. Back to drugs was favoured. Can you guess? Fires it into the main stand. with the current state of affairs to watch Hibbs yesterday Queen of the South a victory for Queens the South Rangers next opponents by Nicholson holding it up that's Zaypak free kick Zaljuk is just getting too tight was taken swiftly here's Patterson Rangers didn't 100% ready McGregor to put it away. Danny Wilson, not quite part of the script. I don't know if the sun hampered them there. McGregor, they switch of play to Wallace. Pull back to another. Law. For Dean Shields to think about the shot, he passes instead. But gets second goal for Rangers. Brilliant from Harris Vutskits, and that is why they want to sign him permanently. That's oh, a fantastic piece of skill. Every Hearts player is totally aware of his prowess with the left foot. They've handled it pretty well, but just a little half a yard. Doesn't need the invitation, it's a superb finish. Tucks it inside that right hand post. McHatties tries to show him down the outside, just cuts in. Just moves the ball half a yard and it's a quick hit. And then the keeper has no chance. That's quality. The man from Ljubljana. And the name it's is Bushkin. Well, it's four goals in four games. And Rangers with a two-goal cushion against the champions of the second tier. Well, this is new territory for the Jambos. Yes, no. <laughs> can they cope? They haven't been in this situation, the champions. Gato Gomes. Nelson's pass. Well, it's had been knocking on the door, and the minutes following on from Kenny Miller's opener. That really was a moment of quality from Butchkic. Pate with the hard throw. It's gone Rangers' way. We're back with you on Tuesday. Motherwell against St. Mirren. And that could be oh so important in terms of the team from the Premiership that'll be in the playoffs. Rangers are in action on Thursday in Dumfries against Queen of the South. 7.30 BT Sport 1 as well. And then on Sunday it's Kilmarnock against Aberdeen in the Premiership. Aberdeen, the current occupants of second. Our SPFL roundup programme is tomorrow, Easter Monday, 6.30 BT Sport 1. This is a quality finish here. He starts it outside the post, as you can see. There's a little fingertip from Alexander. But not enough to stop it from getting the net. He enjoyed that one. I just felt McHay didn't get quite close enough to him. And again, it's Harris Vuckic. The decision to go his way. The referee obliges. Jamie Walker exactly approved of that. But she's just protecting the ball. This time they get too close to him. He's just dragged to the floor. It's been used as a substitute in the last couple of matches, Harris Butchkic. And a brace off the bench in the most recent game. 
Madison. Corner. Three more to take this. Corner and Vukic offering himself, and it comes again from Law. Taken by Shields. Was trying to discomfit Wilson. Shields with Sir. Limbo play by Dean Shields. Bobby Madden right up with play once again. Yeah, good determination here from Shields. Under the new manager, can he reignite his Rangers career? The Rangers supporters enjoying what they are seeing on this Easter Sunday. Andy Burnock, speculative ball played in. And Kenny Miller with the first goal. And the referee did play an important advantage, Bobby Madden. There was a foul there on Lee McCulloch. And this is where we've got to. Congratulate Bobby Madden there. Great advantage. It's a great advantage for Rangers. Good execution, great movement. And now it's opening up for Zafauk as he slips it to the side. And the chance is still on, but it squirms wide of the target. Jamie Walker was up there, but there's a red card that's been shown here. There was a foul just as that was developing. And who knows, it might yet change the equation. Bobby Madden, I think, has pointed to the spot. There was an elbow there, McCulloch debating, but this could be pivotal. Well, Lee McCulloch, it leads with his arm. Well, red card it is. It's quite a strange one to observe because it had happened further back. So, red card. They heard it. Well, they're having a chat there. He's, he's, his arm's in a unnatural position. He does lead with his arm. Is there a striking of sort? The referee's seen it as that. So it's just the red card. You can see it happen in this position. There's a challenge there, and it's this one here. Lee McCulloch is up, and he does go. He just leads with that touch. Quite a confusing scene for a and second the, or two there. Yeah, with the two challenges coming close together. When you go to head it, you generally lead with your arms. Was there a strike by the, the elbow? I'm not so sure. But he, he just his arms were a bit high. That's the tenth sending off of Lee McCulloch's career. Bobby Madden just trying to keep a lid on the proceedings. Leading 2-0, but now deprived of their captain. Indications are will be one added minute at the end of the first half. That just takes the gloss off a really good 45 minutes for, for Glasgow Rangers. There's Gary who'll tell you that Lee McCulloch gets away with that a bit too much. Madden catching up with him there. It's one for our team of pundits to discuss during the half-time interval. Flick by Osman So. Let's see if that will give Hearts oxygen. Anderson, it's away by Kenny Ucas. It comes to Gomis. Patterson. Walker. And then a fall for Nicholson after Slow had gone down. Looking over towards the referee. Skewed away by Wallace. We've had the one additional minute. And that will be all for the first half. Now Stuart McCall's team with a healthy lead. 
Kenny Miller providing the opening goal after good use of the advantage rule. Harris Vucic with a classy second goal, but Lee McCulloch sent off, and the complaints continue from Rangers about that. Hearts with the numerical advantage, but 2-0 to the home side at the break. Thanks very much, Darrell. There is Bilal Mosny, who will take the place of Harris Vucic, scorer of the second Rangers goal, defender for creative midfield player. Rangers were seemingly coasting with the dismissal of the Ibrox club's captain, Lee McCulloch. Might just have them walking on eggshells this Easter weekend. Gennaro Zafak and Osman So ready to get things going. Hearts playing towards their own supporters in that corner of the Broom Lone stand. It's a bit of a patchy first half display by the Jambos. They were at thought and at play by Rangers for long periods. They had a decent spell after the Kenny Miller goal. And that's 2 0 to Rangers. Well, you thought. It's going to be difficult for the Ibrox club to throw this away, but the red card shown to Lee McCulloch has put a different complexion on events. There's Lee Wallace, and a corner immediately to a Rangers gang. Yeah, and again, it's the positive Lee Wallace. Rangers will be played with three centre-halves, four across and the two up. Just thought Hearts was just a little bit cautious from the word goal. Rangers have dominated in the corner count, dominated in possession. Up to Hearts to go and go up, go for it. It's quite the delay waiting for the Rangers players to return to the pitch. Hearts are out there for a good three minutes. Kept in by law initially. Now Mosley couldn't quite control his body. And has gone Ali Oosturk. Station from Nicky Clark, but a free kick it is to Heart of Midlothian. Let's run through the two teams for you again. Sent off. And it's Vucic replaced by Bilal Mosny. Jamie Walker. It's Miguel Payado. His first season wearing the maroon shirt. He's very interested in extending his tie with the club. Makate all along the ground. Cammy Bell says, that's mine. Yeah, there's got to be better quality when they get into the wide areas. I think we just saw there that little phase of play. That'll be familiar this half. Rangers just sinking off, allowing Hearts possession. It's up to Hearts to try and break Rangers down. Shields and Miller went for it together. Shields very definitely coming off second best, still on the ground. The Hearts were trying to get into a groove, but... Play has been stopped. I think he takes a knock in the back of the head from yep, he's on player. It's Kenny Miller. The catches Dean. So Shields ready to soldier on. Perhaps I'll be a bit cross about that. If they didn't have the ball, they're trying to advance. It's a head injury, though, that needs to be stopped. Rangers have to take the common sense approach. Playing on or not <laughs> been a big part of the narrative on this Easter Sunday here at Ibrox. So Nicholson, an elaborate tumble. Here's Mosney. Kenny Miller. Idea was good as he tried to release Lee Wallace. Here's Jamie Walker for Hearts. To create a bit of room for himself. Walker beside the byline. It'll be a Hearts ball. That's Kenny Miller all the way back there defending. And Rangers immediately get the ball following the throw. Patterson, it's Clark, and it's Law. 
10 against 11, remember? Just joined us here on BT Sports. Shields. Murdoch. Law. Shields. Murdoch's pass. Was never going to get there. Makate making sure of that. Murdoch just passed a little bit too much of Law. Miguel Payado. 28-year-old Spaniard, gives it to Alim Öztürk, Dutch born but of Turkish parentage. Began his career at Groningen in the Netherlands before the move to Cambuur. Okay, down goes Walker. Happy Madden blows his whistle. McGregor draped all over his opponent. Oh, this is rash, there's no need to go through the back of Walker. Running away from goal, running towards the main stand here. Just stay on your feet, allow him possession. Just gives Hearts the opportunity to deliver some quality into the box. Jamie Walker, great, great nephew of the legendary Tommy Walker. Inside forward and a successful manager in their history. from Walker, Clark throwing himself up the ball, Gomis, good enough to keep it in, a concession of a throw by Shields, and Patterson will hope for better luck with this throw in, back to Patterson, and no pressure on Cammy Bell. That was a decent ball in from Parson. Whipped it around Lee, Lee Wallace. Bell all the way forward, Nicky Clark is in the centre of the attack. Ustuk. Payada. And so the death flick to Jamie Walker. Gennaro Zafak. Towards it. Rangers close ranks. Now Nicky Clark. Stretch Danny Wilson. Now joining Wilson. Clark was essentially on his own. Just trying to win a corner or a throw in. Patterson, really versatile. Gummies. It's Rabin, by the way, still up with a toe injury. Patience here from the Jambos. So with Zafak, we try to put off Zaniukas. He keeps going to Nero Zafak. And to bulldoze his way through. And the whistle didn't go. Yeah, that's the appropriate word. Bulldoze through. Big physical presence there. So Nicole just something to a couple of tactical things. Makate with the throw. Gomis. Now Walker. Sam Nicholson seems to be on the run. Slices it. He just tries to go and take it beyond Kenny Miller. We see the red on our graphic, ordering off of Lee McCulloch, and here's why. Yeah, and as soon as you lead with the arms like that, it could have been dangerous. Bobby Madden letting the play flow after that. And that had been a feature of the first half exchanges, as we mentioned earlier, but then went 
went back to the incident and dealt with McCulloch in the manner that he saw fit. No, he had no other option. He played it well through there, gave the advantage. Check forward by Patterson. One just took off before So could get there. Remember that after the fact, after the red card, this happened. Some of the Hearts supporters felt it should have been a penalty. I must say, I said in commentary, I wondered if the referee had pointed to the spot. It was a case of confusion raining in the few seconds after that. Yeah, there had been a few bodies lying around. It was another late challenge. I must say it threw me just a little bit at the time. Nielsen, the Hearts head coach, who doesn't know much about defeats in the championship, just one suffered by Hearts this term. On the wrong end of the scoreline so far. Can they make their numerical advantage count? Gomez, they're trying to get close to him. Still in three, that time by Payado. Cassidy. McGregor, his first season with Rangers. Had a spell in the juniors with Arniston Rangers before the move to Cowden Beath, where he worked successfully under Danny Lennon. And got his transfer to St Mirren when Danny Lennon was in charge there. Stuart McCall now his boss at Rangers. We're back in January, the winter weather. Different story today, different picture altogether <laughs> here in Govan. Danny Wilson. And with the spare man, if, if Hearts continues just to try and build up at this speed, it just allows Rangers to get bodies behind the ball. They just need to in increase the tempo. There's Turk. Patterson back to Gomis. Very much the vacuum cleaner of this Hearts midfield. Formidable Gomez Wabin Alliance. It's Payado beside Gomez today. Nicholson and Zayfak. That's from take again. Gomez with the pass. Zayfak. Wilson. Makate is trying to get goal side of Nicky Law. As he bursts away with the ball at his feet. Law for Rangers. And Walker. Not much of an attempt to thwart him at the end. And it was there for Nicky Clark, and he does it. And that's a box to box run from Nicky Law. Skips away from Walker, they're too easy. It's a good cut back here. Can he take a touch? Oh, he must take a touch. He's not aware that he's got loads of space there. Robbie Nielsen, Stuart McCall going about their business in the respective technical areas on this Easter Sunday. It's a fascinating battle of wits. Loads of instruction being passed on to the pitch. Billy King is going to be introduced by Robbie Nielsen. Usman So. Again, it was a breakdown in communication between So and Nicholson. I don't think the pass was there for So to make. Billy King, 20 year old, and reborn. He's about to come on. Clark leading the line for Rangers. Kenny Miller is 
become defender midfielder rolled into one. <laughs> Bacati. To find the right angle, this left the boot in Kevin Bacati. Defending Kenny Miller. And Kenny's up nice and quickly up. Keeping Hattie out of trouble. Just overruns it, Kenny nicks it off him. He just catches him there. Was the confrontation that we spoke about earlier? They came at Tyne Castle back in November. Ricardo Gomes is going to discover that his number is up. So, a more defensive minded midfield player will make way for an attacking one. Gomes is, you know, at 0 0 in the early stages of the game. It's disappointing having Payardo didn't. Really conduct things in the middle of the park. That's it for Gomez. On comes Billy King. Here is a substitute for the Scotland under 21s. Victory over Hungary. Starts at five of their last six matches. Prior to today. Makati. But so, to Sam Nicholson on the left hand side now. Trying to dupe Nicky Law. A corner it is to Hart of Midlothian. Good hearts make one of these set pieces count. to deliver into the sunshine it's all the way out to Makate Mosney leaves it that was a good decision yeah, a couple of good pieces of work from Mosney first with a clearing header and then a good decision just to duck underneath that one Talking it over, Stuart McCall and Kenny Black together at Motherwell. So far, so good for Rangers on this Easter Sunday. Made it difficult for themselves, though, as a result of the red card given to McCulloch. Not sure you can really argue about that. Red, the colour there all, won't you see it again? No, absolutely. And it was a ball he just simply couldn't win either. Here's Payada. Nicholson is in the clear. Brings it down immediately. Nicholson putting it back. No hearts player able to snap onto it, however. King Patterson. And Jean Yukas away for Rangers. Nicholson who beat the offside trap. Just dragged it back behind all the Hearts attackers. It's Payada. So then he had the title in the bag. Oh, oh. He on the points. Patterson took the decision to go his way. Not to be. Robbie Nielsen side chasing this game. Goal here. That's, that's clever, clever play. Just feel like Hattie had to do a little bit more. Oh, and Butch gets getting into his left or favoured left foot. The head of Payardo. That's close to the top of Kenny Miller. Walker, Alexander, and now Wilson. This week about the new hearts partnership with the Save the Children Fund. So as a result of the beginning, both hearts and the fund do well out of it. Over it comes and headed away, headed behind by McGregor for the corner. 
Good copying what from McGregor. Able to get onto the front foot quickly, Hearts that time. Nicholson to swing this in. Nicholson. Danny Wilson competing for the ball corner again. From the right hand side, says Bobby Madden. Good, good physical presence, Wilson, Parson, Soul. It's Billy King doing the honours, and Danny Wilson was up. Ostork tries to smash it. Sky did instead. This time Ostork comes right round the back, makes the run, gets himself free. Sets himself, good first touch. Just a bit wild, his effort. Wilson does enough, Moisney with a good header. He did the hard bit. Well, but the finish was poor. Kenny Miller, scorer of the opening goal. Right place, right time. Middle of the goal, inside the six-yard box. Just fields it into the net. It's Miller with the scurry here, Wallace. 10 against 11, who just joined us on BT Sport. The 10 men of Rangers, Lee McCullough warned it off, and all the credit in the world has to go to Wallace. Chiseled the corner out of that. It's come off Patterson. Very energetic, Lee Wallace. And that's when he's at his best. Up and down that left side. to strain every sinew to play three points. They are to ten men against such an able side. Oh, with it. And oh, it was Kelly Miller who forced a fine stop from Neil Alexander. Well, this arrives at Kenny Miller at just at that awkward height. Way up at his waist high. You see a really good angle here. This is quality technique, and he's just gone wide. Ricky Law again. Mosney trying to get in behind Patterson. So long for Callum Patterson. That's a strong defending from Patterson. Takes it late as he flicks it away. Coming together, the heads there. Third corner in quick succession for Rangers. Ricky Law. Taken by Kenny Miller. Goes Patterson for Hearts. Away by Payado in the end. Law. Payada. He lost. Taking to his defensive duties. Jamie Walker. All along the ground to Osman So. Kenny Miller reaching out. He's got tangled up. Jamie Ukas is keeping a weather eye on Zaypak. Referee's got to go back. And to caution Kenny Miller, I think, is he? Yeah, there's a little kick out by, by Kenny there. Try to stop. So he had no chance of winning the ball, Kenny Miller. You can see that. Let the matter rest there. A good strength by Soul. And there's the little kick out there. He tries to professional foul. Billy King. Callum Patterson uses Danny Wilson. McCarthy slipped as he released the ball. Law. Too well to find Clark. Payado and only a mix up between Payado and Oosturk. Oh, 
plenty of gorgy grit throughout the season. There'll be plenty of that in the closing stages of this game, Hearts, but they are enjoying the possession advantage, as you would expect, the numerical superiority. The possession has just been a little bit laboured, though. I don't think they've moved the ball quick enough to try and move Rangers out of their defensive shape. Ayado for so, and Osman so tries to test Cammy Bell. A couple of changes to be made by Rangers. Ryan Hardy and Robbie Crawford will come on. Rangers have very high hopes for Ryan Hardy. 18-year-old, that's Clark. And he's going to stop running. And to Danny Wilson. Well, that was all he could do, right in front of the Copeland Road stand. And again, Nicky Clark, hunting and chasing, lost causes. Nicky Law in no particular rush. He's got a pretty good reception, Nicky Law, from the Ranger supporters in that corner. Miller. Law. Given away by Law. So, a quick forward ball. Billy King in pursuit of it. Bell will get there. He's able to shepherd it out of play. He's about to make those changes. Be a yellow card here, Pally Bell. A shrug of the shoulders from Bell. And Kenny Miller, one of the players to go off. Oh, they've been very impressed, the Rangers supporters, with the work ethic today. Not to mention the finish for the opening goal. Yeah, he gets himself in a good position, anticipates it well, and the finish, he doesn't try to, to put too much power, just to flex it into the net. Robbie Crawford, a forgotten man here at Rangers, back in favour. Danny Bell booked for time wasting earlier. It's not been quite dynamic enough from Hearts throughout this game, has it, Gary? No, as I said, it's the, the build up slow. Rangers back into the shape. It's very difficult to break eight players down if they're all disciplined. And Rangers have been disciplined today. McCarthy's pass. Was there to be one. Obviously, feeling that time of Crawford trying to make an impact off the bench. Clark's got good legs, but he can't chase every single one. McCarthy. King. Here's Jerk. Matter to hearts. Well, they take a point or more from this game, but they have said they don't want to let up. The has already been won. Healthy attendance here at Ibrox 40,521. Well, it's two of our biggest clubs. Set that big game atmosphere right from the word go. And that is very, very healthy crowd. James Keatings to come on here for Hearts. Kevin 
Kamikaze sees his watch in. Who's teasing who can be a lethal finisher? Should give Hart something a bit different in attack. He could explode onto the scene. Nicholson to take the heart stroke. Big crowd figure, by the way, second highest of the season here at Ibrox. Keatings were showing for it away by Mosney. If Hearts can grab a goal, it surely would have the effect of setting up a furious finish on this Easter Sunday. Rangers in control at the moment. Wilson, Bayardo, now King, next to him Jamie Walker, Adam Patterson, deflection there, means a corner. It was patient from Hearts, but again, just a little bit slow in the build-up, and won another corner. Hearts have looked the most dangerous in the game from set pieces. So the beach ball evident. Oh, that's <laughs> quite frankly, a dreadful corner. Walker knows it. Well, he's looking at his studs here, he just tries to drive it. He's trying to go for a straight driven ball. He just catches it heavy. Energy boost needed. It's been so. I don't think it was a product made by a well known Uddingston Baker, though. <laughs> Ian Black, the former Hearts player, is going to make an appearance on the bench for Rangers. Dean Shields. The man to go off. Really some life for Dean Shields, perhaps under Stuart McCall. Yeah, he was very determined today. He showed good legs, great attitude. Now he can be pleased with his 75, 76 minutes. Ian Black on as a substitute for the third game on the spin. Nicky Law, glide forward here for Rangers. There's Wilson for company, Murdoch, Law. So, resuming to Warwick, Murdoch. Tigerish midfield player, Andy Murdoch. He's worked away well. The threats have been nullified by Rangers. They've been well organized. There's Walker coasting into the center forward position. So Patterson had played it over. Payado, free kick. And Clark didn't think so. Well, what a boost to Rangers' hopes of finishing second, a victory against the champions of the second tier would be. Nielsen. Words of wisdom to his captain Danny Wilson. It was finally taken by Nicholson. He just tried to press higher up the pitch again. Billy King. There's Turk and now King. And it's Ian Black doing the defending. Black, Black just spotting the danger there. This time it'll be Billy King, it takes the corner. King with it, and Bell wasn't sure, it was Mosney tearing towards his own goalkeeper. Nicholson, high into the air, Bell, again Mosney was 
right beside him. There's Walker. He's Mojny again to the rescue. Just Gary Bell just a little bit uncomfortable today. He's really what's up for Zeka in this match. On his birthday, he's so going to celebrate his style. Nicky Law. And he is fouled by Keatings. Respite for Rangers. Mosley and Bell just talking it over after the last couple of incidents. And the way things have gone today, he's been invaluable as a sub. Mosley, having, having him on the bench today is a big plus for, for Stuart McCall. We're losing Lee McCulloch. He's headed it well, Mosley. Suspension forthcoming for Lee McCulloch. Let's go to Palmerston on Thursday. It's a game you'll be able to see live on this channel. Crawford. Law. There's a feeling for the break in. Poddy Mann had thought about it for a second or two. He's given it. His influence to bear. Scored for Rangers against Hearts back in August. It's the equaliser near the end. Osman so was to have the last laugh. Late winner. Taken by Law. Excellent free kick. Osney was up there. Clark is trying to wriggle and it's Crawford. And it's into the Cutland Road end. The obvious target is Mojny at the back post, he keeps it alive. And again, it's Nicky Clark fighting. He gets it back to Crawford, who just can't keep it down under the crossbar. Patterson, Mosley cuts it out. He's trying to get themselves onto the front foot. They have scored 19 league goals in the final 10 minutes of matches this season. So this is not in the bag for Rangers just yet. Jamie Walker with a twist and turn. Congested penalty area. It's Crawford. Succeeded in getting it away. And it's the press legs of Crawford back there defending. The fatigue will start to set in for Rangers now. The ten men as we get to this final nine minutes. As the weight of armour and shield will tire even the strongest. There's Turk, and so was arriving Zeifak on his birthday. The Dutchman has pulled one back for Hearts, and we might be in for quite. The finale at Ibrox. Yeah, we're just talking about fatigue. It's just a ball up to the back pose towards Saul. It's a good save by Bell, but it's Zip out there for the strikers tapping. And this comes in on the blind side of McGregor and Zip out with the tapping. 25 today. Gennaro Zafak. Just 2 1. It's another goal in the final 10 minutes from this spirited Hearts team. Can they go and grab another one? The Rangers have got to be tiring the time of the introduced fresh legs. Danny Wilson, that's an excellent ball. King was going for it. Walker in there too. Mostly seem to be close to the ball. So they just get in each other's way. The two of them were favourite. And then Patterson, that one takes off. Mosney put to the test. He's caught by a long diagonal, Mosney. I just think there's a little misunderstanding between the pair of them, King and Walker there. And Stuart McCall empowering his troops to stand strong. song in the background so Rangers supporters have gone a bit silent in the aftermath of that goal from Gennaro Zafak Ian Black 
Nicky Law was available, so to Nicky Clark. Tried to borrow his way through, Clark has gone down. Law. To Crawford. Inside the byline. Wilson did enough. Oh, it's Bayardo. Second pass, and it's Crawford. And it's away by Patterson. And it's all action stuff in the closing phase of this game. Billy King for Heart of Midlothian. Trying to veer in field. And uh, cut down. Yellow card. It really had to be. King just slipped back. Black there. No surprises to see the yellow. The former Hearts player. Keatings is at the controls. So many of the supporters there looking right into the bright sunlight. Keatings and Mosley got his head to it first. First to it. That'll be a hard throw. He's going to stand aside and let Nicholson take it. So Nicholson. By Payado. Nicky Clark is still struggling out there. We saw him go to ground just a minute or so ago. Walker. Patterson. There's Keatings. Skewed that a little bit. And it's come to Ersturk. That was by law. All hands on deck here for Rangers. Four minutes of normal time remaining. Walker getting into a stride. Jimmy Walker. To fire it towards goal. Might have had it on the target. Payado, probably known for his shooting prowess so much. Patterson, well, oh, that's a couple in a row from him. It was kept in play expertly by Nicholson. He had a lot to do there, Sam Nicholson. Now, Ustuk. And it was a far cry from the Ustuk special that we remember from Easter Road. A plethora of matches coming up from Scotland in the next few days on BT Sport. Motherwell, St Mirren, crunch game near the foot of the Premiership. Rangers in action on Thursday against Queen of the South. It's also on BT Sport 1 in the Championship. Then back to the Premiership on Sunday. Kilmarnock against Aberdeen, 11.45. Aberdeen trying to make sure they finish second. I think that's realistic now. Gordon Strachan will be with us for that game. And tomorrow it's the SPFL Roundup show, all the goals and highlights from this Easter weekender. Oh, that was a sore one for Nicholson, Black as well in the wars. It's just on his landing, Ian Black. Stuart McCall has managed to pick things up at Ibrox. Certainly the mood has been lifted. The last couple of games, Ian Black hobbling on, still was able to give it to Nicky Law. He's running out of space. Walker. It's going to be a goal kick. Two minutes left, should have a fair chunk of added time. Bayarda. Walker. Lots who have tasted defeat just once in the championship this season. That was against Falker. Trailing here. Rangers have put so much into the game with ten men for... A large slice of it, Murdoch. Can he outrun Wilson? That was the answer. And the decision goes Hart's way. I can tell you, Stuart McCall and Kenny Black are livid. 
Andy Mutler just pulled on the shoulder of, of Wilson. He goes there. Yeah, there's the little infringement there. Final minute now of the 90. Walker. Stumble by, so it's Wilson and it's Payado. And he has a go at Mosney. Away tidily enough. First Turk. Clark has Alim Ersturk for company. And just look to click into gear. Walker's challenge. It was a good one, apparently. Now Wilson, Mosney. He's doing his job out there. Oh, he's been a beacon, Mosny. He's been excellent. Big physical presence. The ten men. Rangers. And again, Black will take the ball play to him. He's picked up a couple of knocks. Minimum of four added minutes, Gary. And all the subs have been used. What could Hearts throw at Rangers in added time at the end of the game? And say fact. Stuart McCall was asking the question, why four minutes? Why as many as four? Stuart. fans might not mind seeing him shoot from there with this track record. Walker. King. Time is of the essence in this game for half of it loading it. Stuart. Walker. Billy King. Zafak, what something with Patterson, Callum Patterson got the shot off, and it's away by Ian Black. The chase now for Nicky Clark. Ersturk laps it forward, Mosley away, strong header. Real backs to the wall stuff here, wave after wave of attack. Jamie Wilson up there, and so might have felt the pain. Jamie Walker, and tried to carry the load. There's a goal kick, he stayed on his feet, and time is running out for Hearts. I think Lee Wallace did well to stay on his feet as well. <laughs> Walker tries to just go on the outside of Wallace, could he have been down there? No, there was no contact. Well, the Hearts supporters been in celebratory mood for most of the season, but it might well be a reverse today against Stuart McCall's Rangers, and oh, my goodness, Rangers. Knew they needed the points before a ball was kicked in anger. Hips have gone off the boil quite visibly. Rangers rediscovering the winning habit, but a free kick here to Hearts, it's not quite over yet. Safe out getting involved in loads of challenges here. Payado will be the man to strike it. Ninety-three minutes and counting at Ibrox. All the heavy artillery in there, and it just works its way back to Cammy Bell. McGregor was ushering it back. Law. McGregor was relieved to see Cammy Bell come and take charge there. Having one last chance for Hearts to launch it forward. This one so quite located. Has it again. Space opening up for Walker. Jamie Walker after the referee and way play on. So was on the ground. It's going to be a Rangers free kick. That might very well be the end of the story. Ian 
black. Being helped back up onto his feet. Just fighting there. There's the little altercation on, on black. Again, another good block from Mojny. It's a win for Rangers that could do so much for the push for second. Hearts defeated for only the second time in the championship this term. Rangers had to do it the hard way, playing without their captain, Lee McConnick. For more than 50% of the game, McConnick sent off. There was a late Hearts rally, but the goals for Rangers in the first half with Kenny Miller and Harris Hutchkits coming up trumps, doing the trick. Zafax, late consolation goal for the Jambos. Rangers 2, Hearts 1. Derek Gary, many thanks. Stuart McCall will be delighted that Rangers got over the line there. It was nervy at the end after Lee McCulloch saw red. We're back with Rangers this Thursday. They head to Palmerston, Queen of the South, via the Jers. It's 7.30pm on BT Sport 1. Championship table is starting to look a little bit better now for the Jers. They are in control of second spot now. That race for the playoffs and the runners-up spot means two games less, three points ahead of Hibs, Hibs and another game in hand as well still to come. So a happy day for all the Rangers fans. Kenny Miller had them ahead before Harris Butchkic made it too. And our full review with all our guests is coming up next.